Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to talk about GeForce Experience 3.0 Beta. This was recently released on June 30th. Um, it's an awesome, awesome tool to use if you have a NVIDIA GeForce video card. Um, the new, basically the new version, it's very fast. It's, you know, responsive. It's lightweight. Um, it's just really great. It has everything you really need if you're a PC gamer. So, this is the GeForce website. And there's just the article about it. As you can see, um, even, they even updated the share feature. So you can uh, stream games. The games that you play, you can stream them directly to YouTube, gaming, or Twitch. You can also, um, it has a screenshot uh, uh, capability, so you can take screenshots of, uh, when you're in the games. And also, they, th this is really, uh, really new. You can now earn uh, rewards and game codes, uh, beta keys, and more. So, uh, this is it right here. This is how it looks. This is mine. As you can see, uh, these are all the games. You can optimize them. You can optimize your games for the best um, gaming experience for your video card and your computer, right? So basically, what this uh, this does is it detects your your uh, system specs, and it also detects this uh, games on your on your computer, and you can optimize them to get the the best performance for your hardware that you have, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, over here is the drivers tab as you can see I have the latest driver you can even reinstall the driver you can scan for the latest drivers to get the you know stay up to date now um, it also has a bunch of news right so here's the GTX 1080 news once it when it released and all the, all the information about it so it's it's basically a tool you can use to get everything that's GeForce and video GeForce related in one so it's a pretty awesome tool man and now here's the uh, the share feature right here okay now you can record instant replays um, you can just record gameplay for example when you're playing a game and you want to record a let's play for YouTube just um, you just turn this on, and then when you, when you're in a game, you use the hotkeys on your keyboard. For example, if, if I want to, if I'm in the game and I want to start recording, I press Alt F9, and that will begin recording the gameplay. If I want to stop recording, I press Alt F10, and that will stop the recording. You know, those are just my my hotkeys. You can set your own hotkeys. And now there's the game stream. Um, you can really. This is a pretty crazy awesome tool man you can basically invite your friends in the game and they can play with you even if they don't have the game it's pretty crazy man now this is, this is the broadcast if you want to broadcast your gameplay if you want to stream to twitch you can do that using GeForce experience if you want to stream to YouTube gaming you can do that as well straight from this tool so you don't have to download um, OBS you don't have to download any of the other third-party applications, you can you can just use Nvidia's tool, and you can do all this within it, right? Now the galleries for your screenshots. I don't have any screenshots, so I don't have anything in there. Now these are just, um, uh, the recording options. You can have push to talk, so you can hold down control, and that will uh, activate the mic, and you can talk, and uh, it will record that. Or you can also uh, push to talk on streams. Always on. We'll obviously turn your. You, it will have your microphone on at, at all times. Um, I don't really suggest it. Many people don't like when your microphone's always on, and you're playing video games right online. They tell you to turn it off, and this is how you turn it off, right? So this is um. I think this is for. Oh, for, for, I think for the camera. So you can have your microphone on if you want to turn off your camera. You can do that as well, off and on. And now these are just um, the settings basically. You got privacy control options. Turn on desktop capture. So if you want to 
I'll record your desktop, you can turn this on. I'm just gonna go back, okay. I'll privacy control, oops, that was it. Broadcast. So yeah, as you can see right here, um you can stream to Twitch, YouTube, or you can not broadcast at all. Or you once you start um recording or streaming, it will ask you if you want to st uh, stream it to Twitch or YouTube. Now, this is the game stream. Allow friends to join the game and play as a guest. So see see how cool that is, man. You can uh, invite your games and in, you can invite your friends in in the game uh, using GeForce Experience. Now, recordings. These are where your recordings will be saved. Keyboard shortcuts, like I, like I was saying earlier. Um, if when you when you're in a game you want to you want to start recording you press oh this is for the instant uh, replay right here so if if you do something cool and you said wow I want I want to capture that you press Alt F10 and that will save the last five minutes uh, recorded okay <clears throat> now uh, overlays uh, you can position the oh uh, it also has a built-in FPS counter so you can have that on. For example, you can have it on the top left corner, top right corner, bottom right, bottom left, right. You can have the FPS counter on. Viewers, you can um, have the number of viewers watching your stream or uh, you can just have that as well. Status indicator, this is the status of to show if you're recording or not. You can have that on as well. So yeah, guys, that's just a quick, quick overview of the new GeForce Experience beta I believe this is the 3.0 let me, let me go check real quick uh, yeah I think the latest one is the 3.0 3.0 beta yep yep right here so if you want to download it head over to geforce.com uh, slash geforce yeah, this, is the, the, this is the link right here so you can check it out yourself you can just download the beta yeah right here as you can see at the bottom uh, GeForce Experience beta version 3.0.2.190. So that's the latest one as of uh, as of July 2nd. So yeah, guys, this is some quick information about it as well. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video um, helpful. This is a pretty helpful tool. If you have an NVIDIA video card, I suggest you get it. It's a pretty awesome tool, especially for gamers. All right, guys, thank you for watching.